Okie dokie, everyone. Uh, I have all the tin up, with the exception of maybe. But right now, we got it all. I kind of missed that joint there a little bit on my measurement, but all the way across the back here. And uh, down this side, we got all the tin up. Now I just got to get everything screwed down. It's, the sides are screwed across the top. And uh, get out here on these days and just get the bottom screwed down, finish screwing the roof down. Uh, it's screwed down pretty good, just not as good as I would like. But anyway, I finally got all the tin up. I wish I would have done this corner like I did the other corner. Uh, I wound up with a gap here. Have to get some of that metal duct tape and put on there. But this side I just wrapped it around there. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, I'm going to go around here and see what it looks like from the inside. You can see I only had to add two pieces to this side over here to finish it up. But even without these last two pieces, let me see. Yeah, they had a nice dry spot right there where they were laying. But they can get in here now. And unless the wind's really blowing out of the west there, they can stay dry. And even if it is, they can move up a little bit and stay dry. But... <clears throat> yep like I said we'll get this all screwed off and the one thing I might do you know where I said I didn't think my yeah except for maybe one thing is I might come in here across this back and I was thinking about putting a one before across there just right here but I'm thinking now I can rip me some four inch pieces of tin and they'll fit right there and they'll block the, the wind from blowing rain or snow in on them. And I'll still draw a little air to keep it, you know, draw air up here and go up through there to kind of keep things dried out. So there's that. Okay, woo, wild hair. Uh, Put my hat on so y'all ain't got to look at that. Uh, as you probably notice, it's another dreary day around here, but it's warm. Uh, it's like in the 50s. I haven't checked. Uh, for anybody that's interested, I have started a Rumble channel. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than this one, not a whole lot. Uh, well, I understand that you don't have to watch what you say over there so much as far as criticism of the government and that kind of stuff. So, I've got one video up. So, you might go check it out. I'm going to talk about that same topic here. Uh, I guess I'll just do it right here. Got this nice gray background behind me. Anyway, the, the short of it is, I've been hearing for a few days now how the Chinese have police stations in different countries in the world. And uh, they have some in the United States. Chinese police stations staffed with Chinese citizens to uh, regulate Chinese, I guess, this is the gist that I get, that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they're regulating the Chinese citizens that live in the United States, which I don't think's right. You know, I, and I don't think it's right that they are allowed to have a police station here, you know, uh, 
no matter if it is just for Chinese citizens. But anyway, so, and that got me thinking, and I remember not too many years ago, uh, we were talking about Muslim areas of this country that they wanted to uh, have their own rules. This is too dark in here. No. Turn this away. It's starting to mist a little heavier out there. But uh, we've got these areas in, this, in the United States that uh, are basically governed by Muslims. And that local police, uh, state police, FBI, they're, they're just, they just don't go there. They let them do their own thing there. And uh, again, that's wrong. And I'm thinking about, you know, every all the people coming across the southern border. And then it kind of clicks. Uh, we're looking at a new colonization of the United States by uh, Muslims, Chinese, who knows who's coming across the southern border. But think about it a little bit, you know, if you know a little bit about history. Uh, <laughs> that's how this country was founded, the colonies, you know, the 13 original colonies. Uh, how much longer before we have little segments declaring their independence from the United States government and the each state government. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think about that in the comments. Uh, it's nothing I've heard talked about anywhere else. I'm sure, surely, if I can think of it, somebody else has thought of it. So anyway, uh, think about that. Leave me a comment what you think. Um, and uh, that's all I got for right now uh, I'm going to get my tools picked up out of the rain and, and maybe we'll go look at some baby pigs that one right there is a little boy got one facing me here we call it Fred Flintstone <laughs> can you tell why getting to be little chunks Ethan called that one Blackbeard I don't know if you caught that already getting into mom's food Just uh, a little over two weeks old, and uh, already eating. Of course, I suppose you could just put them on feed, but a couple more weeks, and they'll be able to go on strictly just feed. Look how chunky is that one. There was the runt right there how chunky he is now or she I can't tell yet but I think that's a little boy they're getting chunky like they're supposed to there's mom and dad mom. well done these guys will be starting to look for new homes next week or well about the first of the year that's what I put out. So there goes Fred. I don't know if it's a Fred or not. That one there, Blackbeard's a boy. Here they come. Got such unique coloring out of this bunch. This one here is kind of curious. That second one there on the right, the red one, 
It's always been the more curious of the bunch. Yeah, go Fred, go. Here's your chance to own Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm liking this cross a lot between uh, Well Done, which is a, a product of Deuce and one of those sows over there, one of the white ones, and Buddy Love. You know, <clears throat> I'm not going to bore my regulars with the what breeding she's got in her, but... I'm liking it. She's lost, uh, I think it was three total. Uh, I think one she stepped on, I don't know, one. The first one she lost, probably she rolled over on it or something, laid on it. <clears throat> probably the same with the second one. And then the third one just got out of the pen and couldn't get back in there, and we didn't know it. But... She's raised all these. She's a little bit protective. She's not as bad. As you can see tonight, she's just going to eat. And, uh, but I guarantee if you grab one and they start squealing, she'd be on you. That shelter isn't real good, but it's working. It's keeping them dry. Up in that corner up there is really dry. They're at that playful stage. I like it. Yeah, that's Fred. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> well, I tell you what, at this age, you just want to keep them all. That's, yeah, that's a black beard there. See his beard? <laughs> Got one of them Amish beards. See how close I can get to him. There he is. Good view. Fred's over getting him something to eat. Skittles and Butch enjoying eating it and dry. It's not perfect, but all the tins up. If we get snow or something, they got a nice place to get in out of now. Snow or ice. Finished getting all the metal screwed off on it. And, uh, yeah. Be all done with this. 
so I'm gonna put something back there across that back to slow the wind down back there a little bit but uh, get it all screwed off get all my tools out of here and stuff be all done so alrighty uh, a lot of things going on in the video today I believe <clears throat> uh, said leave me a comment hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed if you have subscribed I appreciate it uh, looks like we got about a quarter inch of rain almost a half inch maybe I don't know let me take it down let's see yeah it's about a half inch that out but as you can see it's uh kind of foggy got a really heavy mist going on right now Ethan said he thought we was in England or somewhere Anyway, I'm trying to get this gate chain hooked and it's not cooperating. So, yeah, that's what's going on around here today. Uh, if you are a subscriber, I started to say this. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Appreciate any feedback you've got. Uh, Like I said, I've started a rumble channel. We gotta turn around. We got to turn the water on. So. Water by share of the pigs. Uh, check that out. It's gonna be a little bit different than this one. Uh, till I see how it works over there. But I'm going to be here for a while. Still. But, uh, yeah. Things are going on here. Let's scoop up. Go out here, water these pigs, these little pigs. Uh, I guess now these are the medium-sized pigs. Uh, get them a little water to wash their feet down with. They spill their water every day. They're like teenagers, unruly teenagers, just always messing with something. Uh, was something I want to talk about, but I can't remember. So, I guess I'll wrap this up. It's pretty muddy around here. I don't know if you noticed in any of the video, but <clears throat> it's been like this for about three days now. Actually, it's been a little longer than that, but got a little bit of rain last night. I'm going to get these guys over here moved out of here this weekend. Planned on doing it last week. And uh, it's a muddy mess. Or last weekend and I got sick. So didn't get it done. But, uh, anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to wrap this video up. I don't have any idea how long it is. So, let's look out for each other. Help each other when we can. 
And let's pray. A lot of prayers needed for all kinds of things. Catch y'all later.